Around 29 million refugees don't have access to education. On the other hand, about 92% of American children have an education. Korean Young Dream Orchestra encompasses young musicians from different chapters all over in Korea and in America. Through Kido, young musicians are able to play, perform, and practice together with their peers from different parts of Korea and America. We want to help Kenya because we want to become people who take action. I have always been told of the horrors that refugees in Kenya go through daily. However, I never took initiative towards improving refugees' lives. It's not fair that I get to enjoy so much of my life. Food, a chance to go to school and improve myself, a stable family and income, a peaceful and safe environment. While in other parts of the world, children would give up everything just to be able to eat some moldy bread or attend a school. The people inside the refugee camps are a lost generation and education is a necessity for them as it helps answer life's big questions as well as teaching people about the world around them. I believe that we as millennials have reached a crossroad now that will determine our future for generations to come. Keto with the United Nations Association East Bay Chapter hosted a benefit concert held at UC Berkeley to spread awareness about the issues in Kenya. This concert raised money to support education in Kenyan refugee camps as our goal was to raise $30,000, which would support building a school and giving the needed education to the children of the camp. This benefit concert for Kenyan refugees was especially meaningful for me because it was a great opportunity for me to learn and research about the issues in Kenya. I was also able to spread the awareness of problems in Kenya to a large group of people. The small but important role that I took in this concert made the experience much more valuable. I was honestly a bit overwhelmed being the only solo clarinetist in a sea of violins, of cellos, of flutes and violas, but as I continued playing, I realized that the fundraiser concert was not only for my clarinet performance, but also a way to help out Kenyan refugees in need, and that sense of fulfillment kept me focused throughout the concert. I was really proud to be up there playing both for myself and for the Kenyan refugees. I was particularly thankful for participating in the Benefit concert not only because of the performance experience but also because through music I was able to deliver a message that I had learned from the medical service trip to Malawi last summer. I still vividly remember the ecstatic facial expressions of the Malawian children with just the simple presence of candy. I realized how a smallest act of kindness can make such an enormous impact for these refugee children in Africa. Extending my experience in Malawi, the concert was a great platform to deliver a message by sharing an idea of hope. As a part of modern society, it's our responsibility as people to help others in need when times are tough. Even in the U.S., we have charities, counselors, and non-government organizations to help out the poor. Why is it any different for us to help people outside of our own country? It's time for us to give back not just to our local community, but to all people around the world. Not everyone has to perform in a benefit concert to help out the refugees. You can do your part simply by donating, raising awareness, and volunteering for the Kenyans. Once we are able to empathize with the struggles of other humans, we can take action on a more personal and passionate level. Also, individual donations may seem small, but if many people gain awareness of this problem and make donations, it would result in a significant change in Kenya. Go out and volunteer, donate to charities, work with the UN. No matter your job or age, you can take strides to do your part in this endeavor.